Greetings and welcome to Car Manufacturer. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really excited to play this game for you because I've been practicing this and this is a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the game Production Line. That's another car making game. I really liked that game until in early access they went to this really complicated like different features and every everything added certain costs and there was a lot of economic like simulator in that which I felt like kind of took away from the factory game uh, that it was. So we're going to play this game which is a bit different. It's really focused more on the cars themselves and um, and sort of simpler sales, which I find more addictive to play. Um, the only uh, thing that I found that I didn't really like is the tutorial. It goes really slow. Like there's a guy that has a sentence at the bottom of the screen. You can't click to rush it. You, you've already read it. it. I mean, it's not voiced. And so it's like, OK, can we please just get beyond this? And then and then things like you know, zoom in, zoom out, WASD. It's like, okay, I've zoomed in, zoomed out like 30 times. Hello, you know, but uh, having said that, the tutorial is actually really good at teaching the concepts of the game. So I highly recommend that when you get this game, you do the tutorial because it's really good at that. In any case, I'm going to show you how I play it and let's get going. So let's start a brand new game. We're going to do the free play right now. Um, we can start in early times, as early as we want. Let's go ahead and do that because some of the early cars are really curious and cool. We are going to give ourselves the benefit of losing because that's fun. Um, then we have, we're have we not going to unlock the tech tree. We're going to have to research stuff. So what we're going to do is choose a company name. Let's do um, uh, Sky, Sky Rides. That seems fun. All right, and then we can choose a bunny. <laughs> That's funny. Um, then we can choose a thing. Uh, I wish there were more symbols because a lot of these I don't really vibe with at all. I'm going to choose a city, Detroit. That's the center of carness. There's a cool thing about Detroit also that I want to show you. So let's create this game. Ah, and there we... That's fun. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that, that it makes this game really interesting. Now, do note that this is a game that is not finished. This is an early access, so it's not done yet, right? So that means uh, there are features that are not fully implemented. There are, oh yeah, here we are, new blueprint. This is our, I, I didn't mean to click this. I meant to click the other thing. Anyway, this is our first car. I know it doesn't even look like a car, but this is a car. Um, so I like that they have a little dice here. Revolution, that sounds great. So this is our car research tree. And so what happens is that you can research in time order. You see these tiers, two, three, four, five, six. You have to kind of research before you can really discover a new car that can kind of be on the shelf at the same time, so to speak. So we have this one, but I'll show you the benefit of researching those other cars as well. Uh, Cause you don't always want to just go forward uh, with that. So we need to set up our factory first. We have this big open lot we can delete these decorations later and look what we have here we have a train station now pay attention to this i don't know if all the maps have this i haven't looked at all of them but this is very visible and we have a gate okay so what happens is when you need to supply your assembly lines with materials your people go to the train pick up the material, walk down the platform and go through the gate. Okay. So we're going to design our building around this and we're going to go to the editor. Now this is one of the peculiarities of this game. You have different modes of looking at the factory. This affects everything. So please uh, keep this in mind. So we're going to do a simple brick building. We have Roman building and metal building or a mesh building. Uh, though I'm guessing the mesh building is something to keep stuff safe, uh, even if it's outside stuff. So we have to build a certain amount from the borders, which is fine. But we're going to kind of build as big a building as we can. Uh, actually, we don't have to build it. Well, we can just build it that big. It's fine. It's, it doesn't cost that much extra. Then we want to build a door. We have different types of doors. They don't cost much. Two bucks each. Not a problem. We're going to put this right across from that gate. Really important. Um, actually, I don't think we need a door here. Um, maybe we do. Yeah, let's put a door here. Uh, anyway, so we're going to build assembly lines in this building. Um, let's do, let's do one building at a time. Okay. 
So the first thing I put down is the gate. This, allow this is a garage door that allows cars to come out. So I'm gonna build two of these. We're gonna have two assembly lines to start, start off with, okay? And then, uh, this is also really weird. You can't do multiple, like if you go up and down, you can't go sideways. I feel like that that's probably a bug. I hate that kind of, like I, I like to do swirly movements to, I don't like to do one movement at a time. It's a waste of time to me. Anyway, um, we are going to leave some space. So let's see, one, two, three, four. We're gonna put these back. Oh gosh, I lost track again. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Now there's a reason I'm putting them this far. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get to that probably in a couple of episodes, I would say. So I'm gonna put in two assembly lines here, and then we're going to uh, click the conveyor belt. You can either do this, just click on the thing, or you can use these. Now, there's a reason I'm putting them that far. I promise you this will become obvious later, but very later. Because later, we're going to have a paint station and a test station. So those go in front of this. Okay, so this is so we don't have to move it later. Okay, and then we're going to... Uh, we need a storage zone. Okay, and this holds the stuff that our mechanics are going to need to assemble the cars and then we're going to get a storage pallet they have other things medium storage pallet big storage pallet uh narrow medium shelf all this stuff so i usually put like two of these pallets here um it doesn't seem to need a huge amount of space though i i don't really know why we have all of these storage shelves because it doesn't feel like we need a lot of that because i usually put a set between each of the um the assembly lines okay so we have this, um, and I think that's a good thing. That's a good way to start. Now, the next building that we're going to need to do is we're going to make the Roman building. And I don't know if this matters or not, but we're just going to make it, okay? So there, we need to make sure that these guys have enough space because cars are going to drive out of here, right? So let's make this about that big. Sure, why not? So as you can see, this is a little bit fancier for people to, to come in and buy the cars. Um, so that's that. Let's make a door here. I usually put one kind of across from there. Actually, let's put it at the very end instead. All right. So now we want to do stuff in this building. Okay. So the thing you're going to go off of is this sales slot. So I usually make this. So this fits really nicely between three slots. Okay. So I'm going to make an entire sales thing, maybe like this big, three wide, and that big. Because this area here, I want to make an employee zone. We don't even have that researched yet, but we'll get it. Don't worry. All right, let's go back to our sales zone. Now, it's worth noting, so you can put one car for display on each of these things. Okay, so you need one sales zone for each car. However, they seem to share the sales desks, right? So your client is going to sit in the big comfy chair and your salesperson is going to sit in the green chair. So I usually kind of have them this way. Uh, later, we're going to get little couches where your um, customers can sit if they have to wait and such. But so far, I haven't found any issues with sales being slow. Now, the next thing we can do is research. So we're going to need a research area. I also, I like to make this three wide as well. Uh, let's just add this here. You can also expand these zones usually by using these things like this uh, easily. Um, and then this needs a research blueprint area. So let's put that there. And a couple research desks. <coughs> we'll start out with, I don't know, say two researchers. We really don't want to overspend ourselves in the very early parts of this game. Really important. Okay. Uh, there's our employee area and decorations. We don't really need any of these like, yeah, tanks and stuff. And we, I haven't found any, they're just decorations. Okay. So now we have stuff. Okay. Let's set up our, uh, sales slot. So this is one of the, I think it's annoying to have two different modes, but I guess it's okay. But if you're a new player, this is going to be really confusing. Like, oh my God, I clicked the thing, but I can't change the car. Well, you need to click into factory mode. So just keep that in mind as you're playing the game. Um, once you get used to it, it's not too bad though. Okay, so we're selecting our revolution car. We also need to select it on the assembly lines. Okay, select and also press play. Very important. So we're gonna select that here as well. Select and press play. For a while I was like, why is my car getting built? What's going on? 
Uh, the other thing you need to do is select the storage zone and say create order. And it shows you which area it's linked to. And then we just click and it orders all this stuff and click again. Now I was worried initially like, oh my God, are they gonna keep supplying this? Yes, it's an ongoing order to keep this supplied. Now, let's go to the research zone. We're gonna click this and here we get the opportunity to say, ah, do we go to tier two, which is this thing, or do we research this thing? Now, when you're looking at these cars, it will almost always research one in the same slot. It rarely researches future ones until you've done all the ones in the current level. Um, I think it's worth it because if you look at this thing, this only costs 500 research points and this is 2000. So I definitely want to research this one. Sure, that's fun. That looks festive. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's cool. It's like a little carriage, you know? Uh, so we're going to do that. Now, the only thing we're missing is employees. Those are very, imp well, we're missing two things actually. Let's do the other thing that I want to do first. We need parking lots for our cars. So I want to add, so they are, if you look at the parking lot itself, you have three squares and then an in out. So the parking lot only has to be the three squares. So you can't put it directly there. So we'll do this and like, something like that. And then we put in parking spots. Now later you're going to have protects from rain, protects from rain and wind. I have not seen any uh, need to do either of these. I have no idea why you would do that, uh, but it's not necessary. So parking spot for multiple cars, that's coming in the future. That's um, like EA thing, early access, not in the game yet. So these are only a dollar each, which is great. Oh, nice. We did it perfectly. Cool. So that's our parking zone. Um, we can do, let's see, how far are these? These go to three spaces, that's fine. So if we do this, and then those are three long, and we can have another set of parking spots. Again, these are super cheap. Now, hopefully you won't need this much storage. And I played for several hours yesterday, and I didn't need any more than this. In fact, I had even less than this. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is we need to get employees. So then you go to factory mode and you can see our, your employees at the top of the screen. Um, I want to hire, let's hire our researchers first because you can only hire a max number of employees initially. Well, I mean, during the whole game, I think. So here's the maximum number of employees. Let's go ahead and buy that. We have max workers 20. Okay, now it's 20. Okay, and then the next limit is 30. Uh, here in this research tree, you can find all kinds of interesting stuff. Like these are unlocked with produce two cars before you can do any more assembly line stuff. Here, uh, employee zone where they can rest. I think that's pretty important. Um, basic chair and mechanic shelf. I don't know what the mechanic shelf does, but yeah, let's get those chairs and stuff. This is security installations. Haven't found any need for that when I've been playing. And these guys unlock with um, hire a researcher, five. Okay, so we need more researchers to get those things. Um, but I'm not gonna hire that many initially. So each um, person, each employee has a strength. So that's this. This is how well they do their job. So three is obviously best. Uh, and then this is their salary. And we have realistic numbers. I like this. This is great. This is like early, you know, early 1900s. No, we're in 1885. Never mind. Um, they're not realistic. I'm sure they'd be getting pennies, but this is like not thousands of dollars. So it's kind of cool. Um, however, I don't think it's been implemented yet. You can't sort. And I wish you could sort, but that's okay. We're fine. Let's buy two researchers level two. That'll be fine. Uh, salesman. I don't think we need many. Let's hire one. Three for 15 is a really good price. I don't think you can get a three for lower than 15. Uh, we don't really need many. I mean, we don't, we don't even have any cars yet. So there are two thing, two types of people who work with producing the cars. One is the mechanic. Now, from what I have observed, the mechanics work on the cars. They actually take the parts from the shelf and bash it into the cars. So we're going to want to get, I want to get, oh man, these people are expensive. Uh, eh, can we dismiss these people? Yeah, let's have them find new ones. Um, so then let's go to our transporters. Let's see if we can find some good ones. Yeah, 10 and 11. Let's get two. That's too expensive. Sorry guys, too much. You're too expensive. Okay, this is good. And what you can do also is uh, you can get, you can assign them 
to these these um, places specifically here. Oh, there's our train. It has arrived. Yay. Two for ten. Okay, that's cool. So let's click this again. It doesn't update. You have to kind of unclick it first. So where's our... Do we have anybody here? Yeah. Transporting goods. Okay, so let's watch this happen. Let's see. Let's put this at a good speed. So I like this game has a good speed. It goes up to triple speed, and that seems pretty fast enough. It's actually good. Most games I find are very slow. Too slow. This also is like, what the heck is going on there? Except that they're not going... Dudes! I'm trying to show stuff. Man, come on. All right, the other thing we'll do is we got the employee zone, so let's put one of those down so that they can rest. So I'm just going to use this entire area here as an employee zone. Let's see, how much money do we have? We're okay on money. Yay, let's do this. So what I usually do is I'll put down a couple of chairs in this zone here so that they can just chill, chill out. Mechanic shelf. I don't know if they need this in the sales office. I don't think so, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's put another employee zone in here. Uh, and the same things so that these people here don't have to go all the way to the other place to rest and they definitely use these chairs to rest so yeah all right there we go nice yeah but we don't have like holds mechanics tools like huh I, I don't why do we need this all right so let's keep looking for employees now and where do they go whoops Oh yeah, that's right. We're making those rest zones, of course. So now, um, so we have two employees, one gonna bash at each car. So what they do, so here's, here's how this works, right? We have one station right now. Uh, we're gonna get more soon because this is more efficient. What we have is they're doing the chassis first, suspension, steering, all of these different items are part of making this car. So that's what's happening. Now, the transporters are continually offloading stuff from the train. This is like a magic train. This train never needs to leave. I don't think it ever does leave. So, um, okay, that's way too expensive. Two for 11 is fine. Way too much. Three for 18 is okay. You know what? I'm going to skip these and just go for twos because we can train them later. Okay. We do have training. So how many? That's four transporters. That seems to be a, a good amount. Okay, two for 14 when we can get two for 10 and 11. I think we'll take those. Okay, yep, that's fine. Um, so that gives us two for each of these places. So we're gonna assign two mechanics to each. I don't know how many mechanics you can have working on a car at once. You know what, let's try an experiment. Let's try assigning all four to one station. Can they do that? Are, can all four of them work on one station? There's two, one. Okay, while they're doing stuff. Oh, I forgot to do a thing. Okay, so one thing that we, you, see, you can see it says not released. I love this part of the game where it's telling you, hey, we can't sell this yet. So we're gonna push up the price at least to 100%. You really need 100% in this game because you can easily, if you go bankrupt or if you go under, or if you go negative for just a tiny while, you will lose the game, period. This is the hardest part of the game is the beginning. Um, so anyway, popularity is there. We're going to activate door-to-door -door advertisements, and then we're going to click release. So in fact, let's do 100 and... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So what's going to happen is that we're going to have people. Look in them. Here's Andrew Lewis. He's our employee. He's kind of waiting for people. Oh, oh, no. We have a client already. Okay. He bought a car. Cool. Ah, I forgot one thing. One thing I usually like to do is build a door here because they have to walk around to go and get their car. <laughs> so um, salesman is unprofessional. Okay, they didn't like his sales, so that he didn't buy a car. All right, so this is how you're earning money, okay? Now, do we ever have four people? We have three. Okay, three is valid. But it does look like they're not really a lot of them working on this at the same time. So I'm wondering if certain items you can't do more than one or two people at a time. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put that down back to two and put two here. So there's another car. All right. And you can actually look at this and the quality is unknown because we don't we don't have a quality check facility, which is absolutely hilarious. Also, look at this. We have our light bulb. We finished a car. Woohoo! 
So we got a brand new car. We're going to call this the hurry sounded hilarious town equator pre as aspire. Let's choose that aspire. All right. So what do we want to research next? So 2000 for each. Let's go with the, the next tier. Let's just do that. Now we're going to look at our money very carefully. Do we have enough to start another assembly line? Maybe. Let's go ahead and pick the um, assembly line area. I'm going to install two more gates. Now they are pretty cheap a lot of times, so you don't always have to worry too much. The assembly uh, line itself is more expensive. It's 200 each. Okay, there we go. And then we'll set the... go. Nice, okay. So then we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to grab a storage zone and set it here. Why not? Okay, and we're just going to keep the game running so that we have money coming in. Really important. Okay. Also, it's kind of important that you don't put both of these pallets uh, blocking both sides because there's reason for, for that for later. Uh, let's go and set these up uh, in again in factory mode. We need to click them. So we're going to make the Aspire. Okay, press play. Aspire, press play. Then here, order the parts. Mm. And then you go and hire people. So let's hire 14. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. These are mechanics. We want to hire four mechanics altogether. Okay, we are delivering cars and selling them, which is great. Let's see. Okay, you will work. Yay. That's three. And I also want to hire a few more of these folks to the the, um, the delivery guys for the material. I like to kind of balance cost with skill level. But I feel like later that really doesn't make... Um, it doesn't uh, work that well. Okay, so do we have four now? Yeah, we have four. So let's assign two for each. Okay, and then, cool. So what we can do is, if we look at our employed people, we see how many idle people we have. So we have a few too many carrying people, but that's okay. Um, that will even out later. I'm not gonna fire anyone. Uh, and now we need to add another sales area, but let's see, we have to buy a sales slot here. So that's cost us a hundred, but that's not too bad. We can also buy different kinds of advertising, like flyers. Let's go ahead and buy that real quick. So that means we can go here and go to the advertising and activate flyers to get more popularity here. So what I do want to do is we want to build another sales zone. Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. Now these things cannot be next to each other. As you can see, we can't do that here. So let's just build another one there. Uh, and I'm just going to set it up exactly the same way. Now, we probably don't need... Let's put just one desk. We really don't need... Well, actually, no. Zero desks. Let's have zero desks because we don't really need them. It's fine. Um, usually I do, but we're running really short on money here. So I want to just, you know... I really want to be careful right now. Okay, cool. So Aspire is not released yet. So let's release it. Oh, I forgot to change the price. Whoops. So this one is 726. This is twice as much as this costs. So... It's a really good idea to try to sell these if we can. There's our first one rolling out the door. Fantastic. All right, cool. All right, and we're getting money again. Hooray! I find it really fun to see, like, the vehicles being produced and them rolling out the door. And I think this thing is cool. Also, here is what the researchers do. Like, what is going on here, dudes? That's nuts. Can you work again, please? Look, I... Ah! So... Yeah, it's funny when they do get to working on it. Uh, we only have one salesman, so maybe we need to hire one more, I think. Let's hire uh, you. And when we get to five researchers, then we'll be able to improve their skills, like the mechanics and the salesman and all of that. So Now, notice that this number here is the popularity of each model. So even though the revolution is less fancy it's getting more popularity just because it's been out there more often 
Now, salesmen are not assigned to a particular floor or anything like that. They just, you know, they're there. Uh, they take care of everybody, basically. Models of bad quality. That's not great. We're starting to fill up our parking slots. That might mean we need another salesman. Let's see. Um, those are expensive. Come on, people. Ah, here you go. Two for ten. That's nice. All right. Looking very good. Um, I do want to get into more of the assembly line part of this. We can actually produce cars faster. So what we can do is we've noticed that certain times only one mechanic can work on a part of a car at the same time. So we're going to kind of split that up a bit. So now we have the ability to do assembly line one. Max stage stations in conveyor is two. So let's buy this. Um, and that gives us access to other things, like we can do dismantling, electricity from the city, which I haven't used at all. Basic station objects, we can get a toolbox. These things af oh, um, af affect your mechanics performance, like maybe they take less time or they use less energy and stuff like that. Storage is here too. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button again. So yeah, there's that. And then we can also do build more research stations. Um, I kind of want to get to this the training parts. That would be really good. I don't know how many we're allowed. Oh, two right now. Let's buy that then. So now uh, discover any blueprint, which we have. We've already done that, dude. Uh, dec decreases the chance to discover an obsolete br blueprint. Increases chance for higher tier as well. That's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So that's working pretty well right now. Let's go ahead and expand the assembly lines because that's going to give us more control over this factory, which is kind of nice. So here we go. We're going to just build a basic assembly thing. Now, this is where this game really differs from production line, where you can each of these assembly lines is whatever you want it to be, which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to show you that right now. So the way you fix this, I was like, how do I do this? How do I do I need a specialized thing? Because in production line, you have a different machine for each part. This has one machine and you change what's done at each station. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So station one's gonna do these and then station two is gonna do that. And we're gonna reassign our, our uh, mechanics here and to, to put two on. I usually do them both the same. So I just, I, I haven't calculated this, whether, you know, how much time it takes or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, now the problem, the only issue, let's see, let's do, what, what was it? Bumpers, I think. I kind of like to have them all the same. Bumpers, yeah, okay. So after bumpers, that's about halfway. Now, the problem is, is you see that these are not getting any goods. That's bad. Um, we need to reassign the orders. So what I usually do is I click this storage thing. I delete the old orders. So let's delete all these old orders. And be careful because these storage zones are close enough that they can serve those. So just do the ones that are nearby. Okay, you can see the little lines there. Perfect, okay. So now this one only has these because those orders have already been fulfilled. So I usually like to go from the bottom because they kind of go from the top. So they kind of like, it just comes underneath the mouse pointer, it's cool. And if you ever need to clear stuff, you go into content and you can sell all unused parts. Now that's good when you get robots later and they have like a little hopper with stuff in them. And yeah, it's not great. <laughs> so anyway, what, what now, the, the way this benefits us is that when a car is getting done, it moves to the next thing and automatically they can start a brand new car. So this guy's working on this one, another guy's working on this one. So you can make two cars at the same time, which is very beneficial for us. So let's see, we're not getting a whole heck of a lot of customers right now, um, but we are getting a lot of backlog of cars here. This is too expensive. No, it seems fine. Seems fine. Maybe we need to hire another salesman. Um, previously, I've hired all level three salesmen, so maybe that's the issue. I don't know. Let's hire a level three salesman. Just oh, I can't. Ah, I need more. I need more employee thingy thingies. Okay, so that is here. Two thousand to upgrade the number of employees. That's gonna be a stretch. Okay, come on, keep selling, keep selling stuff, please. 
I mean, I guess we could fire one of our salesmen to buy a more expensive one. Let's dismiss all these guys. Uh, oh, we do have a three. Okay. All right, we have three salesmen. That should be enough. Anyway, we have a lot of cars. We just need more people to come in here. Okay, there we go. We got some people going on here. But you can actually look at these people. Okay, they are... He's my employee, Dominic. Um, he's waiting. Okay, so he's a construction worker, age 48, happiness 65. Negotiations, waiting, leaving, patience 61%. Okay, so he wasn't happy at the model quality or something else. Um, offer coffee. Oh, that's fun. I haven't seen that before, but we don't have a coffee machine yet, so that's part of the problem. Okay, we sold a 726 one. Yay, that's nice. So we're kind of like just waiting for things to get a little bit more popular, get a few more um, clients in here. So looks like some of them are happy and some of them just leave. But, you know, this is what really improves your production is having multiple assembly lines. Now, we do need another research to get the third one um to get that going but then we also have to hire a whole bunch of employees so this is this is going pretty well i think let's see yeah we need 2000 to get more employees right now it's going a little bit slow i really haven't had this problem so i'm kind of like what's going on with this now it would be nice to get some of the other Oh, we got our blueprint. Yay. Equator. Pacer. Sure. Pacer sounds fine. Uh, let's select a new blueprint. Let's do a 1000 because why not? Oh, look at that bad boy. Whoa. Kind of cool. I'm going to shut down one of these um, things, I think because I don't want to make that many of those anymore. I want to sell them. <laughs> I really need to sell them. Okay, there we sold one. Good, good. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of people. Maybe we need more advertising. I haven't, like, this is a new problem. This literally is a new problem. So let's see, advertisements, flyers. Mm. Increased popularity growth. That seems good. Small sales couch. Yeah, they can wait their turn. All right, let's do that. Let's go ahead and go into our factory and add that to the sales zone. As you see, we have a couch. Uh, three seats, two seats, coffee maker. Yeah, we can add a couple of these. I usually do something like uh, this. So we have plenty of seats for people to wait if they want to wait. Yeah, our far parking lots are filling up. I'm surprised about this. This is kind of wild. Anyway, but as we pause this assembly line, uh, that means our other employees will go and work elsewhere. Oops, again, we're in the wrong mode to see this. Let's just take these guys off. Okay. Model is of bad quality. I kind of want to get that quality thing and the... Uh, the fixer thing. That's a bit interesting. Um, that's paint. This one is the quality control. Okay, so we need this. Wow, these are expensive upgrades. I feel like maybe we should get more... Or should we get more employees? We do need them if we're going to start another car model, which might help us out quite a lot. Okay, so let's do that. Let's. Um, we need to build more building first. I'm going to go ahead and leave the game running. We need at least this much. Let's see. Build the doors first. There we go. Perfect. And then these guys. Okay. I think we'll build one assembly line. There we go. One assembly line with two parts for now. And then we need to build our storage. And these. Yes. Okay. And then we get this thing. There we go. And we're going to do... Let's go back to factory land. Okay, selecting new model. The pacer. Add two employees. Press go. Get parts. Uh, 
uh, oh, whoops. Let's choose this first. So we're going to do bumpers. Okay, good, good. Okay, cool. Now we need to create another sales zone. Let's see. Hopefully we can fit one in here. Now, starting the cars is the most important part of this. Oh, limit reached. Oh, no. We need to buy another sales zone. Shoot. All right, guys. Sell. Sell. Oh, we need money. We really need money. Let's see if we can take a loan out. $2,000. Let's do that one. Oh, boy. Okay, let's go. Can I just... Uh, come on, guys. Sell the cars. Let's go. Okay, we sold two. That's good. So, we did need another sales slot. That's here, I think. 2,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Oh, boy. Shoot. Come on, sell, sell, sell. I'm not sure why we don't have a lot more clients. Like, normally in my test game, I had four people standing around each one every time. Every single time. So I'm really surprised. Now now it looks like our salesmen are not there for whatever reason. They're idle. Why are they idle? What are they doing? Um, where are they? Let's see, where are you, dude? Can I see where they are? Workers not assigned. There they go, there's one, two. But they don't seem to be at their desks very often. That's unfortunate. Uh, because when I was playing in my test game, I never filled up the parking lot. I was selling them faster than I could make them, basically. There were people constantly waiting. So... Let's see. Maybe if I buy better salesmen? Let's see. Okay, let's buy that one. Let's lay off you and hire this person. Come on. Leaving the factory. Okay. Go away. We need you to go. We need a better... Better... Oh, no! Ah, shoot. We lost the other one. Darn it. Hmm. I want a three, but not for 20. That's so expensive. Three for 15 I'll take, though. That's nice. And then I can lay off the two for ten and look for more. I don't know how those strength things really affect stuff. Um, I haven't seen much difference. In my test factor, I was able to train people up to like level seven and stuff. And it's like, you know, it's kind of strange to, yeah. Come on, guys, sell these cars. Let's go. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, we are selling some of them, but we need more money, guys. We need 2,000 to get more sales slots. And we need that to get to sell this new car. We have a one brand new car that we can't sell. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, man, maybe I should take another loan. All right, I'm going to take this one, the 1,000 loan, and we're going to... Let's add another sales zone here. Oh, whoops, we can't. We gotta buy the thing first. Okay, upgrade. Oh, that's expensive. Ow! It's like, owie! Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's do this one here. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be a little bit narrower because I... Somehow I messed up this building here. I'm not sure how I did that, but um, it's fine. Don't worry. It will be fine. So here we go. Put this one in there. And we're going to leave it as it is. Let's do a go to the factory view again. I always forget that. That's what kind of trips me up is it's like weird. Okay, price settings. Let's go up to 100%. And then we'll do door-to-door -door sales, flyers, and release. Let's go. So we have a pacer out there. This is earning us. Let's go by money again. 1120, 726, and 324. We really want to stop making these guys so much. So we are are we have cleared this one line. Um, but we do have a lot, and I wonder if those are the bad quality ones that we can't sell. 
Now later we can get uh, a way to fix those. We can send them to a fixing repair shop, but we also have to be able to analyze them. Um, let's see, quality unknown, unknown. I'm kind of wondering like if a customer says bad quality, does it show here? I don't know. All right, this is looking pretty good. This is good. Salesman is unprofessional. I don't know what number you have to get on these to be like, this place seems depressing, what? Oh my God. I guess they want decorations or something, I don't know. Okay, but now we are definitely getting some more money, which is great. People are driving away with our fancy new cars, yay. All right, that's good. We definitely wanna sell these out for sure. Now, one of the mistakes that I made in my test game when I was playing, and this is, I'm repeating so you don't do this, is like, I was like, nah, I don't need these revolution anymore. I'm just going to stop that um, and then uh, just replace it. Well, that was kind of a difficult thing because the popularity on these guys is really high, right? It's really high. And so I stopped it, but by the time they were making stuff, it took so long for them to make a new car and I'd replaced it. It was like... Oh my God, it was such a delay. So I kind of try to do them concurrently and I don't advertise a new one on these wheels of joy until I completely sell out of them. All right, I'm gonna stop making these because it's just not, not working here. We just need to have these guys work on other stuff. We have way too many in the parking lot here. It's not good, not good. So hopefully we got, we had a couple of clients, we got one guy here. Yeah, take him and sell him a car, yay. There you go. So that one can get out on the lot. Yay. I'm going to get another salesman. I feel like these salesmen are not doing much. <laughs> oh, I can't. I have no money. Ah, no. But they are level three salesmen. Oh, this is done. Hooray. Okay, cool. Soul. Sure. Sounds great. Uh, all right. Change this one. Let's get e a 1001. Sure. It's cheaper. I think I'm gonna fire one of my researchers uh, just because I want another salesman. So we'll lay you off. You cost me one more dollar per, per week or whatever, or day. I don't know if it's day or week. Okay, so this is good. We're not producing any more of these. This is actually perfect. Uh, let's go to stop on this one and we're gonna change these up to the new soul model. Yes, and we'll actually assign a couple people there and we'll play press play. And we're going to delete these orders and edit and add new orders. Yay. And your assembly line stays the same, which is really nice. Very convenient. So that ended up being a really uh, propitious time to stop making those vehicles, which is kind of cool. I like that you can just finish and you don't have to trash it. You're just finishing the thing and let it, you know, go out. It's cool. Very cool. But we want to keep this on the on the turny spinny so until we sell all of them. That's really important. Um, I find that this first model is so cheap, you really can't make a lot of money on it. it. You almost make nothing. So you have to really go research and try to just get to the next and next ones as fast as possible uh, so that you can make a profit. Otherwise, it's really hard to earn money. Okay, so I got my researcher. Let's buy a salesperson now. Um, hello? Too expensive. No. Three for 18, I'll take you. Was that a three for 16 as well? Yes, it was. No. Wait, can I tell him to go away? Actually, three for 18. We can lay you off. Maybe we can just get him. Get him. taking him a while to leave. How long does it take him to walk to the edge of the map, dude? Oh, now they left. Darn it. Oh, well, it's okay. Saving two bucks. I'm not sure if it's even worth it, but it's fine. Oh, here we go. Three for 16. Cool. Excellent. Okay. And so now we're making some money. This is good. We are now making money. Um, so then let's finish this uh, thing. We need to hire two more mechanics. Okay, three first. Oh, we don't have any. No, no. All right, let's uh, turn this one down and just finish this. So this is our second, uh, this is our one making the lowest money. So we're gonna take more money off of green or more people off of green and put them instead here. 
So we just did that, but they need to finish this one. Perfect. Okay, so now we select the soul. Yes. Okay, now we do our orders. Now get three and four off. Those are the lower number orders. So there we go with our uh, new orders to get that going. Hooray, look at this. Look at these beautiful cars. I love this. Aren't they great? They are so cool. The models are amazing. I really love the art here of this game. It's really cool. Uh, also, uh, I did experiment in my game uh, with the paint job thing, like painting the cars. I couldn't get that to work. Um, I think it's probably a uh, early access, wait till later kind of thing. Uh, anyway, though, we can get, let's see, can we get this? This is 1500 to get the objects. What I really want is the scanner. That's kind of important. Okay, this is another 1500. Let's see if we can add some things here, though. We might be able to add some tools or something to our assembly lines. Here we go, basic toolbox. Worker energy save bonus 10%. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the toolbox to every one of my thingies. Watch the money, be careful. <laughs> Hello? Uh, okay, I guess that, that's working weirdly. Whatever. Okay, there we go. These two. They're f like flipping around really weirdly. Okay, that's fine. So great. We're doing really well right now. Okay, so what are they researching now? That thing? Really? Okay, cool. Very, very cool. So the next thing we definitely want to go for is more employees. Now that's going to be at the center here. Uh, to get 30 employees, but we need $2,000 for that. Now, I, I have two loans that I'm trying to pay off right now. Uh, are they... Oh, maybe they're already paid off. Okay, I guess they're done. We go pretty fast here, so... Oh, by the way, did we... We didn't sell these out yet. Come on, guys. We gotta sell these. Sell, sell, sell. Push it, man. Push it. Push those little cars out. We don't want them anymore. Move them. I'm surprised they haven't sold out yet because the popularity of this is really high. Okay, let me go ahead and add a couple more sales desks. Not that they're actually using them. I wish they would. Like, come on, guys. Let's do... I'll do a sales desk at each thing. I don't think it matters, but just shorter walking distance for our people. These are pretty cheap, so yay. Another thing you can do in here is you can add more employee rest zones. So we can do that maybe just so they don't have to walk so far. Okay, there we go. Let's do one there and maybe one there. And we can add some chairs again. Not enough space. Okay, so it doesn't really like this area at all. Let's just do that. It's something, right? Just so they don't have to walk all the way over here to rest. It's not great, but yeah, it's something. There they go. Look at them sitting. How nice. Okay, did we... We finally sold the last revolution. Thank God. All right, so let's go back into factory mode here. Click this. Change it up. Select the soul. Yay. Now we're going to boost the price here. 100. Okay, and then activate all the stuff. I wish you could activate all. That would be nice. So there we go. Excellent. Starts at zero popularity. But we have four of them, so we got to start selling them. Come on, go, go, go. Now, if we look at our car um, blueprint again, here's what we have. So the pacer is the same level as this thing. And I think we are now researching this thing because we chose the less expensive one. But there we go. This is going really well. So we have 3,000 monies. Wow, 3,700. That gives me the confidence to say, let's upgrade the number of workers and see what we have here. So we've got two here, two there, zero, two, and two. So we need four right now. So let's hire you and you and cheap one, sure. We're looking for a two for 10, for example. But for now, we can also click this. Let's get you two. And then, yeah, three for 16 is okay as well. 
Okay, very nice. So then we're going to make the other assembly line over here because we haven't done that yet. Look at this. We still have we have now 4,000 monies. This is great. This is this is where we kind of steamroll uh, just a tiny bit, right? So let's get this placed here and there and connect this. Also, um, oh, that's not right. Ah, I messed that up. Also, this is one of the hard things is that you can't move these. Some objects you can move, but not these. This is this is not great. Uh, yeah. Can I delete this? How do I delete this? Oh no. Uh, create or edit. Yeah. I just want to delete it. Help. Uh, I haven't had this problem before. I don't make mistakes. <laughs> Let's delete this thing and we can actually expand this building by one square. Hello. There we go. Um is missing at the end of conveyor. Okay, we want to do this uh, instead. Okay, can I just build over it or something? I'm not really sure how this can work. No? No? No, 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 no. How do I delete this? I'm pressing delete backspace. Ah. Ah, I just found the tooltip. Control click. Aha, there we go. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to control click that one because it went the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and choose our assembly lines and get them properly placed there. Yeah, they should go right next to the pallets. I think I normally do them without putting the pallets on first. So yeah. Okay, there we go. So then we're going to need to hire, I think, one more, right? Let's see. No, we have two. Nice. Okay, great. So let's choose the little red car. This one, right? Yeah, that one, the pacer. And we can press play and again, order stuff. Ah, but we need to adjust these bumpers. Yes, okay, good. And then, then we order stuff. Yeah, there we go, nice. Okay, great. So we are doing really well. Let's just check and make sure we have employees to each. Now, if you do not assign them, they kind of randomly run around the factory, but I like to make sure, okay, there's two people making this car, two people making that car, just to make sure that we have enough people kind of spread out and doing stuff. But look at our money, 6,000 monies already. Okay, so let's see, we can probably buy the next bit of research as well. Let's go ahead and go up here, quality improvement. Quality control station is 3,000. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and then next, the repair workshop is 8,000. Oh lord. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to see if we have enough money to buy. Um, oh, look at this. Basic quality improvement tools. Basic quality tools. Uh, you get a better car, which is nice. Um, however, having said that, I don't know how that affects things like people will buy any quality of car I found out they seem to just it doesn't matter what the quality is it literally doesn't matter um, okay let's put in a couple of these okay so this look at this this is hilarious they scan it with a laser it's 1887 but now we have quality very good whereas compared to this unknown right another laser quality excellent that's good so I usually put the paint before this. Again, I don't know. I don't think the paint is activated in the game. I couldn't find anywhere to apply it. So if you know, then tell me. I, I, cause I, I couldn't find any place to, to add paint anywhere. So anyway, but hopefully we can sell some of these Aspire. Please guys, before I die, I don't wanna, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna, don't wanna, don't wanna. Pacer, can anybody sell these guys, please? Please sell. Where are the where are the darn salesmen? There's the, all these people waiting, and I have no salesmen to help them. Come on, guys. Oh, we're almost negative, dude. Oh no. Okay, the he sold one. Okay, good. That's something at least. You gotta work. You gotta really watch the money, especially early on in this game. Maybe a sale. Yes, good a sale. Okay, we did spend a little bit too much. But now we have we have the ability to see the cars, well, the ones that have lasers anyway. Um, so now we have a little bit of money, which is great. I'll go ahead and finish off putting uh, scanners there. Let's see if we can afford them. They're 300 each, so 
Yep. And this one we are lacking. Eh. Let's see. This zone here needs to be improved that way. There. Okay. Nice. So now we can see every car that comes off these lines, what quality is, and when we get more money, oh dear, we're having no money again. Oh, <laughs> this is like scary. Ah, but we are doing really well. Look at how many cars we have on these lines. This is pretty great. It's, it's kind of cool, kind of cool. And it's cool to watch them be built like down from the, the, the frame up literally. And you see all the stuff and very good, uh, decent. Okay. Excellent. And then another excellent one, good one. So this is cool. And um, however, I think a lot of the stuff isn't implemented yet. As in like, sometimes they'll complain at the desk like, oh, this is a poor quality car, but sometimes they'll buy it anyway. Like they don't, either they don't care or it doesn't matter. I don't know how it affects your business because we do have a brand popularity, which you can see at the bottom is 428. Um, and that sort of like increases over time. But I don't know if like they buy a shoddy car, like does that, you know, reduce your popularity? Does it affect anything at all? It doesn't seem to. Also, we got a new car. Yay. Look at this. Super Mosquit Wagon Encore Electa Electa. I don't like these weird like Encore. It's like, huh? All right, let's find the cheapest car we have. 1120, 726. Okay, so it's going to be the green one. Let's stop these guys. All right, and that's going to be the end of that model, and we'll just let that go. And we got to sell those, of course, first. Yeah, selling the things. Sell, sell, sell. But these are going to get done. Oh, there's four more coming off the line. That's okay, though. I mean, it's good to sell them. But inevitably, the newer cars are going to be... Oh, here's another thing that we can look at. Yes, we can look at product comparison between these different uh, things. Oh, yes, here we can set this one to be a good price. Wow, is that more expensive than the Aspire? Barely, barely. Um, yeah, anyway. So then, yeah, the tech is going to cost us a little bit. But yeah, we're going to get these going. Because I find that having three models is, is a lot. I mean, we would have to build another building if we're going to sell more of them. Um, and I think, let's see, if we look at this thing. Let's see, three to four. That would be level three. Four, five, six. So I guess you can sell six at a time uh, currently in the game. Let's see. Popularity, growth rate. That, that might actually be good. Let's see. Um, brand popularity bonus, trends, ads, release time. I don't even know what those things are. They don't even make sense with, with what we have in the game right now. Let's see. I could do more of it. I know it's 2600. I really want to get the repair shop so you can see how that works. Let's see, research stuff. Um, I do want to get these things because that allows us to train our employees. But I think this is probably, watching these spinning cars, this is probably a good time to finish off our episode. Um, so I am going to say thank you so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a really fun game and I think you should try it out. I know there was a demo. There still might be. I haven't checked the Steam page. Um, but check it out, see if you like it, and uh, yeah, I hope you do. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.